Hello everybody, it's Dan Trick Gamer. I'm back with Gave You All Night, Sins of the Father. Uh, so I was looking at the hints, uh, both in here and in other places, to figure out what I needed to do next. Uh, so I'm trying now to try to get the snake to bite me. <clears throat> but that's one of the things I need to get done. There's also an ash tree here somewhere. I'm going out. Don't hurry back on my account. Okay, museum is you. Right. Yes. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Ah, oh, there's a switch. It's an electrical switch. What does this do? Turn that thing off. Oh, sorry. We have air conditioning, you see. <laughs> yeah, I see. Okay. So I guess I keep doing this. Gabriel has no interest in the noisy fan at the moment. It's an electrical switch. Okay. The snake is too far away. The python is quite dangerous. I would stay back if I were you. Thanks for the advice. So I know that works, and that does that. Uh, let's see. Let's so check and see if the jeweler is ready or not yet. Him to advance with Crash. So let's go back to the pub and see if he's there. Yes, he is. Sam, my man. Hey there, it's you. I got that bracelet for you. This piece was a real toughie. For some reason, the metal just wasn't setting. I must be out of practice. Well, it looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. No problem. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah? Where to? Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he'd take me around the world. The old bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, mm -hmm. and he hates okay. spending a penny of it. I'm going to enjoy watching him squirm to every mile. Sounds like fun. Good luck. Are you kidding? Luck is my middle Not name. Not really, but okay. okay. So that's done. Go back to the cathedral. <laughs> Show him that. Do you recognize this? Uh, just heard me. Where did you get that? Why? Do you know something about it? Know something about it? Look at this. Crash opens his shirt and reveals a tattoo. It's the same. The same snake. It's their sign, man. The bark of the snake. <coughs> Without it, they'll never let you get close. The sign of the snake. Right. Your tattoo. My bracelet. Now do you believe that I know something about these people? All right, yeah. You know about them. I... <coughs> Marcus, you're gonna die. I guess. Will you answer some questions for me now? Okay, I'll talk to you. A little, but make it fast. Ooh, Marcus, bird. You don't look so well, Crash. Tell me what you know about voodoo. Look, take some advice. Stay away from this voodoo shit. You don't really want to know, man. Believe me. Do yourself a favor and leave me alone. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo houndfall in New Orleans. Ah, oh, man. Just shut up about that. Can't you see I'm sick? Are you trying to kill me? I saw you talking to that drummer. 
What did you tell him? You saw me with the drummer? Nobody's supposed to see. Oh, shit. I blew it again. No nope. promise you won't say nothing to no one. So get back to him. Everything does. Promise me you won't tell anyone you saw me. Okay, but you have to tell me everything I want to know. Okay, okay. All right. I was sending a message, man. They have these rider drummers posted around the quarter. They see everything, and they report. Report? How? The drums, man. It's some kind of code. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo houndfall in New Orleans. All right, all right. This is underground cartel in New Orleans. A voodoo cartel. They control everything that happens on the street. Even murder, I mean, everything that's bought or sold. They have fingers in the legit world, too. Banks, foreign Not stuff, the beads. you name it. They're supposed to be this temple. What you said, a hound for. That's their headquarters, man. I heard people say it's underground, somewhere in the Quarta. I don't know where, though. Have you ever been there? No, no. I've never the been cemetery. in it. I'm nobody, man. A runner. But I saw them once. Out at the lake. They became animals, man. Beasts. I remember the eyes. The eyes. Hey, are you okay? The eyes, the of eyes. The snake. The eyes of the snake. I think I should go get a doctor. <coughs> hey, are you all right? <coughs> Someone. I need help. The eyes. The eyes of the snake. Dumbala. Crash? Crash spasms twice more. Then dies as Gabriel watches. Oh my god. Oh, poor bastard. Now I'm just going to draw your tattoo, if you don't mind. Crash won't be looking at anything <laughs> ever again. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Okay. I guess I better copy this tattoo. Good. Moving the body is the job of the coroner's office. Okay. Well, I'm out of here. No. It's getting late. Gabriel decides to go home for the day. I guess that's it. Bye, Grace. Hello? It's me. I can't sleep. Ah, oh, me neither. Can I? Yes. Come. That's not good. And she's going to come wondering where the bike is. Day five. The road was blocked. The truth was shunned. The white flag had been waved. Reverse cost. Reversal cost be all I had. At some point, she's gonna be jealous of what everything was going on. Mm -hmm. I'm still there. Are you okay, Gabriel? Sure. Great. Why? I'm worried about you. If I were any better, Grace, I'd be dead. Now, what's up? 
You got another package this morning, overnight from Germany. Ah, yes. I was expecting that. Where is it? Well, it kind of came open, but I salvaged the contents. There was a letter from your great uncle Wolfgang and a journal. The package just came open, huh? How'd you like the journal? Someone has to look after you. You're in trouble, in case you didn't know it. Yeah, you've been reading my horoscope again, mm -hmm. haven't you, Grace? Just read the journal carefully, Gabriel. Please. I got so it. She's right there. St. George's books. Oh, Professor Hartridge. I'm glad you called. Did you? Oh, you did. You did. Oh, wait. Slow down. The agree. Really? You think that's them? We're well, within a wheel. Oh, Goomba agree, huh? Well, that does sound like it. Dumbala, the snake. That's the wavy pattern at the bottom. Okay. The 1791 slave revolt in Santa Domingo. Well, why would the Veve show up there? Okay. Uh huh. Okay, okay, okay. L look, I'll come over as soon as I can, okay? Relax, Professor. I'm excited too, but you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Famous okay. Last words, Thanks. I think. See ya. I wish you'd tell me what's going on. I swear you're gonna step into a hole you may never get out of. Don't look so worried. No one knows what I'm doing. I'm perfectly safe, and I'm getting some great stuff for the book. Besides, there's something about all this. My dreams. What about your dreams? Oh, uh, nothing. Will I'll you be open careful. up to her, man? I promise. <clears throat> did you find out anything about that pattern I gave you? Yeah, I did find something. I checked the microfiche, microfiche at the public library. I found an article about a murder in 1810. The newspaper published part of a pattern found around the body. It looks damn close. You're incredible. All that work. Forget it. Let's talk to her and see if there's anything else. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Press research. Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? Investigate the drummers. Could you research Rada drums for me? Rada drums? Sure. I don't think we have any books on that topic in the shop, but I'll contact our suppliers. Assuming any of them will extend you any credit. Tell them it's an emergency. Uh-huh. I can see where a Rada drum book would be incredibly urgent. Anything else? No. I can't think of anything. Okay. Gunter Ritter's diary is leather bound. Its parchment pages are old and fragile. It's a newspaper clipping from the year 1810. The letter is addressed to Gabriel from Wolfgang Ritter. Wolfgang's letter says, Dear Gabriel, please read the enclosed journal carefully. It might help you understand your family's special obligations and our current predicament. God be with you. Uncle Wolfgang. The newspaper clipping describes a yeah, ritualistic that looks like murder in Congo Square. It includes a rough sketch of a pattern found around the body. The sketch is very similar to the reconstructed Veve. Nope, I don't want to leave yet. I want to look at the journal. Gabriel reads through the pages Wolfgang marked. You... He reads of Gunter Ritter's <laughs> journey to Charleston Why would you blur as a it out? hunter, hired by the townsmen to solve a series of ritualistic murders. He reads about Gunter's meeting with the beautiful slave woman, Tetelo, and of Gunter's tormenting urges for her. Poor bastard. He reads of their physical union and passion, and of Gunter's investigation into the murders. The victims were all crew members on a certain slaving expedition to Africa, it seems. The second to the last entry describes Gunter's plan to set a trap for the coven committing the murders. Okay. He'd found a name on one of the surviving members of the crew, a man now living in the West Indies. Gunter has spread a false rumor that the man is returning to Charleston. He himself will impersonate a sailor and allow himself to fall into the hands of the coven. 
Naturally, Gunter has arranged for able-bodied assistants to follow and attack the coven before they can do him harm. <laughs> Ballsy son of a bitch, wasn't he? Gabriel turns to the final entry of the journal. You can read the full account of Gunther's last... Dear Father, I offer these final words as an apology of the harm done to our second office. The woman I wrote of was the witch I sought. I have committed terrible crimes. I love this witch. Then used our sacred family power to free her and aid her in destroying this, com this colony. The talisman is gone. Fatil took it. I can pray. I can but pray for the swift recovery of the talisman and that my punishment in hell will be long and bitter. Your undevoted, undeserving son, Kutter. That's right, scratch your back of your head. Can you show this to her? Hmm. Gabriel could ask Grace to use her pain to put the tattoo <laughs> on his chest. But he should wait until he's ready to use it. It would probably be okay. in the shower. I have a feeling we'll be using that sometime. Let's read the paper. Dated June 22nd, 1993. <clears throat> Disgusted with the state of the voodoo murder case, Gabriel turns right to his horoscope. The shadow upon you is no longer reversible. Wonderful. Okay. Supposedly, unless this is. Let's say updated. It's supposedly an ashtray somewhere. Gabriel's desk has been gathering dust since he wrote his last novel. What the heck was that, Gabriel? Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here and do some further research and figure out where I want to go next. It's Android Gamer, Lair Days, and Happy Gaming!